This new AI product allows you to consistently generate the same character through different scenes, easily. Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now if you're a musician, content creator, or just someone interested in the cutting edge of AI, we've got something truly amazing to show you here today. That's truly changing the game for music video production, autopilot. Creating a professional music video used to mean huge budgets and countless hours of planning, recording, and editing. But what if I told you that you can generate high quality music videos in minutes? That's exactly what Neurogram's autopilot promises, and it delivers. Alright, let's jump right in. Alright, the first and simplest step is to upload your song, and this is what I went with for today. Hands to reach, but never touch me. Help me, I can't help myself. If I can't help you, no one can. And I've got a major plan for the theme that I want to go for this music video, so the song works out perfectly. Autopilot immediately gets to work analyzing your lyrics, BPM, and key to understand the mood and story of your song. And here's a tip from my own experience. Autopilot works best when you provide it with vocals. The AI can really dig into those lyrics and create a cohesive story. Then after uploading, we can check out the lyrics over here, make sure everything is correct. Once you've confirmed that all of your lyrics are correct, we can go over to the settings cog over here. We can change the aspect ratio. I think I want something more for social media, so we'll do 9 by 16. And we do have duration presets, but I want to set that manually somewhere right over here, I think. At this duration right here, we can have both the verse and the hook right there too. Now going back to the settings over here, we can change the video concept. This part here is very important. You don't need to do it because Autopilot will do it for you, but I always find that Autopilot works better with the more direction you give it. All right, so I want a dark cyberpunk city with a female assassin standing on a rooftop in Japan on a rainy night, bright neon purple and blue lights with her trusted squirrel sidekick that helps her gather information and scout the area. All right, then from there, I like to copy the entire prompt just in case I want to redo something and then go down to where it says pimp my story and it will enhance the prompt that I gave it. Now I can analyze everything that it gave me over here. It's kind of long here so I can go for it off camera. But as you can see, it's already giving our characters names like Kira and Pixel. Pixel's an adorable name for a squirrel. <laughs> so far going through the story here, everything looks really good. It's creating a whole story off of what I gave it, not just a generic prompt like I had, but actually creating a cohesive story to tell. So overall, I'm very good with that. We can hit save and then select the visual style here where I want to have the cinematic realism. This sets the aesthetic tone for the entire video. So it's very important to pick the one that best reflects your prompt and then hit create clip. All right, next up is the storyboard section, and this is where you can gain a lot more creative control. Autopilot automatically generates a storyboard here for us to edit, giving us a basic idea of what our generation is going to turn out to be. But not only that, we can also give it more direction by clicking on the different text over here. Editing the prompts and details in each individual scene is key for getting more control over the clips we're going to create. So it's important to go through everything and make sure it all makes sense. And as we can see here, we actually do have a character name named Kira. This is the real game changer here that Neuroframes will include a name or pronoun that will let you consistently create the same character throughout different scenes through the entire video, which as we can see here, the Kira model, the character we have right here, carries the same sort of outfit and look through scene three, also called Kira. So once you've gone through all the different prompts over here, make sure everything looks good. We can change the video concept if you want to and the style to regenerate, but I like everything we've got going on right now. So we can go on over to the video model where we have four different options here. My personal favorite one's going to be Sea Dance. Even the version one light is still a very high quality option. But for today's video, I want to go use Sea Dance B1 Pro instead, which is going to be the highest quality model available. Now we can either choose to render the full video right away or we can go a step further and render the starting images first. I will always recommend choosing that option here to give even more direction to autopilot. You'll always want to be smart with your generations here, giving autopilot as much direction as possible to get the most out of your credits. All right, so now as we can see here, we still have our three different scenes here. And in each and every single one, we've got different clips. We've got three in the first one, four in part two, and then in the third scene, we've got three clips. And if we click on it, we can get a glimpse at the first part of our generation. All this looks good so far. I can see our little squirrel friend. I don't exactly know what this one is here, so that's where I want to really go with the prompt to make sure everything makes sense. And sometimes it can be as simple as leaving the same starting image prompt and video, and then just hitting recreate. That looks a bit better here from what the prompt had before. But again, if you want to change anything, you can always alter the text in the prompt too. All right, I've gone through everything else, and I'm happy with it all, so I can just hit create video. Okay, we are all done here, so let's see what we created. Oh, it looks, look at the squirrel in the corner, it looks so good. What happened? All right, that is some absolute nightmare fuel, so we definitely have to change that. Our model looks outstanding, too. This, uh, this looks really outstanding. Looks great. 
All right, so I'm seeing some real promise here, but we can change a lot of this. But the video is already exported, so how are we going to do that? Easily. Just because our video is generated does not mean that our work is done. We can scroll on down for some post-production and change up some of the scenes individually too, where we can not only change the starting image prompt, but also the video prompt too. This is my favorite part in the entire process, actually, even though it's post-production, because everything up until this point, you're almost guessing, right? Where now you've got a clear picture of what's being generated, and they can change that and make tweaks how you want to. This is like a 10 second scene of nothing happening. No real action going on at all. all right, let's try adding some movement ourselves here. Kira, ears up for a hunt on her target. That could even be enough right there. That looks good for the image prompt, but now we can double click to make sure that the video prompt goes accordingly. She checks her weapon to make sure it works then checks in on her squirrel companion. A lot more direction there to recreate options. While that one's uploading here, we can fix the next clip. I don't exactly know how this goes with the narrative of our story here, so we want to change up quite a bit. I did notice too that our main target that uh, Kira's gonna be assassinating and hunting didn't really come in until quite a bit later. So let's try and include him a bit more now. Okay, a much more simple prompt here, but I think that's gonna be a bit better for the direction of our video. This clip here is almost fine. I just don't know exactly what's going on here with this man. I'm gonna say of the target. All right, let's see here. Already much better, much better with that generation. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot better now. And then I, I like the back half of this video here. Like everything from that point on looked pretty good. Especially this scene right here. Right after this one. I love the grip and then the explosion. I thought that was a really cool little touch there. And she walks away from everything. I like that. Okay, so even as somebody who is not really a storyteller in the way of like cinematics like this, I kind of have like an idea in my head that I worked through with neural frames, right? So here we introduce our character. She's checking out her gun, have a little squirrel friend on the back. He's adorable. And then the more that we go on, we see our arms dealer, the CEO uh, on the phone. Uh, I picked with the prompt that I put on there is that he's talking to somebody for like a potential buyer. He got angry on the phone. And then we see Kira seemingly looking at the target, which was uh, this man right here. And we keep on going. She's gathering intel, seeing everything that she can. And then we see our, our target right here. I don't necessarily want the arms here, so we could fix that if we want to. I don't think it's that big of a deal. It actually looks kind of cool. Whenever you can add movement to a shot, that's always good. But then we see our target looking at his weapons and everything. He then turns into a hologram. Now she's finally getting ready to take care of the target. She explodes it with her fist. Really cool shot. Then we see a device right here that could be like a hologram. That could be from the lyrics that we had in there. The song is called Hologram. Then we see her walking away from her mission. Cool. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Way better now. What's cool here too, going back to our project, we can click in the top left and create some album artwork now that we have a better idea of what our video is. Don't overthink this one too much here. It's just for your own amusement to have an image to look at. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, cool. All right, so there you have it. Neuroframes Autopilot takes up the complexity of AI music video generation without sacrificing quality or flexibility. What truly sets it apart is the balance. You get that plug and play simplicity, but with the power to ensure consistent characters throughout your entire story and the flexibility to fine tune every single scene and clip even after generation. So you're always in control of your creative vision. Oh, and did I forget to mention that you can upscale your video up to 4k for free if you're ready to elevate your visual content produce more and connect with your audience in powerful ways without the headaches of complex prompts or spending weeks on editing the neuroframes ai autopilot is a must try thank you guys for watching and we can't wait to see what you come up with Help me.